Balunya Maya, get out of the dormitory. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Today we have a guest, the lovely Tom. I have had Tom on my channel last year, right? Yeah. This time last year, it was Ramadan, and we filmed a video um, of what the things about mother, the things they don't tell you about motherhood. So I'm going to leave pregnancy. the and pregnancy. So I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. Today she's my bestie. So today we, I wanted to do, we wanted, I wanted us to do like um, um, what do you call it? A best friend tag, sort of, sort of, sort of. Wait, wait. Best friend tag, oh, much better. A best friend tag, more like the one that I did with my sister, and then we also talk about the few things that you fear, the fears that we had after having a child. So let's get into the video. I have questions on my phone, so I'm going to randomly choose what to ask, and then I'll give you, and you also choose what to ask, right? Am I afraid of the dark? You? Yeah. No. Yes. You don't like to sleep with the light off. Yeah. I, I. It's not like I'm scared. Okay. I think it's like middle, middle. But I, I don't like to sleep with the light. I sleep with the light off, but I have to have a source of light somewhere. Somewhere. So in this case, I leave my bathroom light on and the door open. Before you sleep, the normal bedroom light. Yeah. On. If if I have no bathroom light, I leave the whole the whole thing on. I can't sleep in the dark. <laughs> I know. What's my favorite TV show? <laughs> oh, girl, girl. You see, she's laughing. This girl, she loves, what do they call it? Real Housewives. Ratchet TV. Ra yes. Ratchet reality. TV. Ratchet TV. Not reality shows. Ratchet. You know how they call it? No, they call it trash TV. Sorry, that's the word, the term they call it. They do. Yeah, they call it trash TV. <laughs> so her favorite is Real Housewives of Atlanta. Like we're filming in the well, supposed to be filming, <laughs> and in the middle of 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 getting ready to film, she's she hasn't even done her makeup. She's just on the TV, getting comfortable to watch the Real Housewives. I really don't get it. I don't. I don't understand. And when I saw that question, I laughed because I knew. <laughs> I don't get it. Which movie genre? Is it genre? What's the what? Genre. That one. That one. I'm going to put it there. Olozungu is not our first language. My first language. Which movie is that one? Should do. Do I watch most? Horror, romantic, tragedy, or comedy? Okay, let's make it. I don't watch movies often. Uh, yeah. Series. So okay, which genre? I feel like you like documentaries or crime. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is I it tragedy? Think, Should I, okay, I don't think it? it's tragedy. I don't like it horror. Like, I'm not a romantic person. Mm -hmm. I just like suspense. Yeah, so, yeah. So crime, crime stuff. stuff. That's that's me. And for you, I'm like an all-round person. I watch movies a lot. I watch action movies, horrors. I watch everything. Okay. For me, I'm specific. I think she's not as particular. I am not. What's the one thing about you that annoys me? What's the one thing about you that annoys me the most? Should I answer that? I answer? <laughs> you answer that and I think you got it right. Timekeeping. <laughs> and general, she takes her time to do things. She's I am like a real mobeja. She takes her time. If she's cleaning this house, she'll clean the bedroom, then rest and watch Real Housewives. Then clean the <laughs> living room, then rest. Yet for me, I like things. Like I need to go. Let's yeah. move. That's that's how I want my things. So and then what's the one thing that annoys you about me? I guess being so fast and everything. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't take time to soak in. Or maybe when we are like hanging out and chilling doing hours out, we are then soaking in everything and we are having such a nice time. But when it's at home or like we, we're getting things done to go to the next thing. So that's that's a bit of like a weird trait, like a a, a, a dislike for you, cause I'm like I'm I don't think it's a dislike, but I don't get to. Okay, that the fact that it's different for both of us, yes. so I guess sometimes it's like yeah. we're on different paces. But I like it when we're trying to get to some place and you're rushing. Yeah, I'm always the I one love, like, I, like I'm on tap, time tap, tap, tap. I don't want the look and. The 
says when he gives me that uh, when I'm on, I'm not on time. Ah, which picture do I have currently on my phone's display? Or, or okay, my phone display. You and your baby boy, your sunshine. You lie. You don't know. It's not the one. It is the one. <laughs> we are using my phone, my display picture. What? Is me. When did you take that down? No, but I've had this for a long time. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Then the one that holds. I see screen. the one, the, the the one that has your shades with Ihan and you. That's on front. my iPad. Then I think I got it. <laughs> and now for what she has on her phone is Tana, right? Got it. So I wanted to ask what's my favorite inside joke, but that's getting so personal. We'll have to, <laughs> <laughs> to tell people a lot of things that we don't no, want. But you don't know. have to. What's what's our favorite? We have question now. <laughs> yes, can that's I, can thing. I talk about? Can we'll I talk be one? into a lot of things. One is. is just kidding. Just, no one understands. That's why it's okay. an inside joke. Okay. So which one is it? I don't know my favorite. <laughs> no, 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 now you're about. revealing. That's not an inside joke. <laughs> no, okay, inside no. joke is like mayor. Yes. <laughs> That's an right. inside. What do I admire most about you? Should I answer that? Should I tell you what I admire most about you? you should. She's um, she's so mother. Okay, I don't know. I feel like I know. I'm. I'm not saying I'm I, a bad mother. I think mother. you should answer that. Um, with the before we were mad, as I think no, it, okay, she's That's got like this even before you've got like a motherly sort mm. of you know thing, like it, it's just she's like a home, I don't know, she's just a home, like there's that, that, that motherly sort of thing, and she also like she keeps me. I'm one person who gives people benefit of doubt, and it has. Back me up over and over, so she keeps me in check. She's like, Maya, that reality is, is not everyone is this nice, this is this and that, and that's like she keeps me, you know, in, in line in of reality. So that's what I like. Admire, but she's still forgiving, and people don't deserve three chances. <laughs> One, yeah, oh, two is a, okay, man, but three, I didn't give five, yeah. yeah. But I'm changing. Like the most times I want to shake her until I'm like, yeah, yeah all the time. Just, because if someone's supposed to be something to you or someone, they should be that and that's it. There's no gray areas, all this. Oh, today let me betray you, but tomorrow I'll be a nice friend. No. But my friend takes all that crap. But. It makes but her, her some people some yeah words. I guess it makes yeah. me it's just like it's not a so fault. much of it's, it's actually people's it's, fault it's like how, advantage how of that. that I pick that's like a trait my father has which I have and you see how you say I'm very forgiving sometimes I'm like what's wrong with this what? man <laughs> but I guess that's how she also feels like oh, what's no, wrong when with you <laughs> when are you going to wake up so I think that's that when did we meet that was supposed to be the, one of the first questions right when did we meet? A long time ago. High school. High school. She was a class below me. Yeah, so I was in S5. You were in no. S4. No! I was in S5. Yeah, S4 is, and she was in S5. But yeah. imagine that we were in two different classes. But we were yeah. friends. Then I remember I used to, like, you got when out the of your dormitory. I went to the HSC dormitory. HSC dormitory. I remember sometime when they were in S, she was in S6, I was in S5. You still and, were and sleeping I, in yeah, the S6 dormitory. I remember there was a time when these guys are not, you know, when you're S6 people are not going for prep. Yeah? Mm. Or morning prayer for stuff. You come and sleep. Sometimes I just carry my duvet trying to have bed. <laughs> and then the remember that guy, the guy who used to chase us for for that Mr. Vinyam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say the nickname. <laughs> so you guys I remember if you're doing this, hi. Hi. <laughs> Shout out to you. So uh, I came and the guy said at the gate, he's like, Balunya Maya, get, up, get out of the tongue. Guys, you know, I had, I slept and then I woke up and he was still waiting for me. <laughs> like, like, I had nothing I to just do. didn't like prep. I like to stay in the room. Morning prep, especially. Morning prep. You guy, what's my favorite season? Okay, people have winter, summer. So let me say, do I like you? you I think you prefer the sun. Yeah. What's my favorite? I feel like spring, which is okay, which is like chill. Yeah, and yeah, that's 
because you don't like the sun, I don't like the sun. and you don't also maybe like. I don't imagine I don't mind the rain compared to the sun. The yeah. only problem that comes with the That's rain is I traffic. That. Yeah, I like to wear sweaters and. What am I really bad at? I think you're bad at anything, girl. I think I, I should be because I something. should have maybe because you have that thing about you. You we have a guest. You yes, don't so. allow to not that something has defeated you. You don't ever really? like you admire. You know how to try out everything until it. You you know you, what you always tell me. Anything is possible. Everything is possible. You just have to put your mind. To wait. Yes. You know, but sometimes I feel like I tell people like that's why sometimes I mean I tell you do as I say but don't do as I do because sometimes I feel because like I just feel like you're bad at, yeah, at something. As maybe I not. will tell you you're bad at judging. People. Well like maybe I'm a bad judge, judge of character. character. Maybe. But if it was to talk about these other things, cooking Oh, I'm a good cook. Always, I'm like, <laughs> like yes. And people don't. I don't think people know that. Yeah. People don't think they think she's that, like. I'm just high maintenance. I'll go out and eat. But no, no my friend can I'm cook very hands very well. on. Actually, on so many things. And like you, you very well. Yeah. I'm very <laughs> underestimated by so many. So people. many people. So <laughs> they have such a different. That's why I'm thinking. Yeah, you're bad at judging character. Mm. Me as well, I think. But me, I learn quickly from. Yeah, me. yeah. And when she learns, she has, like she has learned. She's not going to. She'll. Someone call me mm-hmm. very unforgiving, but I forgive and not relate to that person again. But you're quite. You you text you a while. A while, to, yes. Okay. I I don't like it because it's not She's very tough. religious. That I don't like to. I feel like if I don't put my foot down, down people will always take advantage of you between us both who takes more time to get ready <laughs> let's go to the yeah. next have you ever voted a general presidential election yeah you, I, I voted once once yeah and that's but the time voted I saw once once that's the only I time voted only once I'm going to vote life. again I don't know why don't waste um, exercise your civic duty? I, then yeah? I think I'm you guys to... out there exercise your civic duty. Let me not be too much talk, but I hope to vote. What's that one thing I would want to gift? I would want for a gift on my birthday. Hmm. Um, one thing you want for your birthday, mm-hmm. I think, like, um, Mommy, no. your art related stuff. No. Right? Oh, yes. Cause she has, she has a, she does. Let me show you guys. She does things like this. You know, so like quotes, handwritten yeah, calligraphy memes. stuff, memes or whatever. Or she can actually draw you. So I think this would be those. That, that would be a great gift. Stuff to support her business. Oh, and yeah. you guys should definitely support her business. And maybe something that I always also ask her for, and no, that I always oh pray no 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 no, no, no. Oh, like I think that a beauty beauty something something <laughs> yeah yeah yes <laughs> huh? not really um Coco Coco Chanel yeah yeah what which thing which things are you most of most of the time roaming thinking about in your mind. My friend is an achiever. Obviously. Always wanting to achieve something. Like this. No, Tom. You, I you. No, but you are. I, I, you know, I hear these things, so many things about myself. I don't know if it's just me, but I think other people also like that. Like, you tell me, or someone else will tell me. Like, there's a friend, I don't know if you know her. And someone, that, Michael, I, if someone that I haven't talked to tells you yeah, that. Yeah, she was like, Maya, you're so. I'm like, I don't see it. I, I feel like I'm lazy. I feel like I'm not doing. The like most I would describe with my we gave birth around the same time, have babies just five months, five months older, older than mine. But I was thinking in my like literally I even was supposed to write it somewhere like I'm gonna give myself two years. Then I start thinking of okay, let me start work and what and she was the baby is just still crawling, she's thinking of what am I actually she didn't even let her baby crawl. She I had to go to work. See? With a child. I remember, but you know the thing is, I believe like in business, 
that's why I left you yesterday. I had to go to the shop because I don't know. And I was I a guest, know. and I, I was I had promised to we were going to be together all the time. I had to run away. Away, time. Honestly, but I'm so time. used to it. I think, and I think it's such a good thing because I I look up to it like up to all these things in my mind and i'm th actually when she's living and i keep achieving these things i'm thinking yes we are <laughs> we're going to graduate in january yes like that and i'm looking for that dress like it's my graduation <laughs> hopefully we we'll graduate inshallah. inshallah so yeah those are like you don't believe i think when i think i just am my biggest critic which is like a good, good and thing. bad thing as well. It's bad because you don't sometimes you put yourself you never, in pressure you because don't you even don't give yourself even enough credit. credit. Yeah. Yes, I'm so bad. I have a friend that knows how to do turbans and me I'm she don't wanna learn. I have a <laughs> a video on YouTube. See, look at you. But I like and this I, one. Yeah. And the fact that it can you go off and I so well. Where. Thank you, Mama. Okay. So now let's get into the other video, the other part of the video. Let's talk about the things that we feared after having a child. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so what's that one thing you're scared of after having a child in relation to the body, in relation to, to life, and all that and stuff? And health also. Health. I was always scared of my baby getting sick with these very immunizable diseases. So yes, we rush and immunize them, but still, at the back of your mind, you know, they can still come. So I've always been very scared of taking her to the hospital because she's sick. Remember, they don't talk. Like I want her to tell me, mommy, now it's this place that hurts. Like I've always been generally scared of taking my baby to the hospital. For me, like my I biggest... I never wanted that yeah, to come. Before even the baby came, was not making that I don't think I've been told you. Was not making it out of the hospital. I was like, what if I die having a baby? Really? Yes. Yes. And now when I think about it, that's one of the reasons why I fear having a second child. And also other reasons I'm not ready and... You know, you know. I, your fear now, I have it because I went through the first birth, now I know. But before the first birth, I didn't know. I didn't anticipate oh i'm going to die but obviously when they I told me it's a c-section then you that start thinking. yes i started to freak out. i think the fact that i was in labor for long is what now i started thinking ah, mm -hmm. like all these things you know like my yeah. biggest fear first was not getting out of the hospital but she said that she didn't scare me at all like you went through all those things and, and i called her when i had given birth and she was happy. She said, "I have a beautiful son." I, she didn't I tell me that answer. I went through But your phone hell. Was, was stolen, remember? Yeah. yeah. So I tried to reach her, and the phone was off until I called Kane. Yeah. So I, I told her. So that was my biggest fear before, and then another. I had. I think the ones I can think about that I will be able to share. Number two, you know, um, exercising. How you do the squats. The few times that I've exercised, I fear doing squats because I just feel like I'll just tear them off. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> do you know how you do the squat and you go down and like your glutes and <laughs> yes, yeah, that's I feared. I was this like, is, man, I was ready to in your head. Yeah, but I was like, what if they have it, that stitches haven't healed properly or something? Like so that was my other fear, and the sick and the, the last fear was. Getting intimate after the six weeks they give. Yeah, it took me a while. <laughs> it took me a while, honey. You're losing weight because I've seen everyone in. I think it's also in the head. I don't know, but everyone in my family that has gotten pregnant and gave birth, they never lost the weight because they didn't want to. They didn't want to. So I feared that, and it just hit me like this that I because you don't want to if it like you know let me tell you if we put our minds to because even me I want some abs the thing I had about my body now is my stomach like I just I just can't but I feel like if we if we work hard to get it we'll achieve it first of all my my clothes fit like my clothes of before mm. baby 
they all fit so that's the but thing i just like thing. i need to tone up you know the stomach is not as tight you know the things just got a bit loose <laughs> so but she's we, saying things that have influenced her clothes fit yeah but the, the stomach is not it's, you, know, you get what I'm saying. I get what you're saying. Maybe you'd say you don't like you to see the little bit of stretch marks. The stretch marks are actually, um, I'm like, if I had a flat stomach with you, all my stretch marks that stop here, I would still wear a bikini. If okay. I had a flat What do you stomach. mean, yes? <laughs> okay, I'm saying they stop here, but because <laughs> they're many. They are not many, she's because lying. They are many. Now, my so had one line of stretch marks one. before. <laughs> I have like their roadmap. See sometimes. our lives. We used to count us. <laughs> I had one, like right here, one thing. So now, if I I go like this is a lot, then it's, it's a lot. But I guess it's the whole body. No, me I can't imagine for someone that was a size fourteen going to a size eighteen and not getting back. Because you don't want to turn. Like if we put our minds to let's cut out carbs, let's stop eating chapati, let's not eat that rice often. Chapati being my babe, favorite. that's my favorite man. So when you're around someone's favorite, you eat chapati as well. And pilau, like let's let's you know cut if we up. if we cut if we regulate, you'll see. Yeah, Tom made for us pancakes. So I ate those things. With your son, with my son, you get my son is indeed my son. He loves exactly the things I love. The pancakes, the chapatis, pasta, pasta. Say mama. Okay, so I think um those are my. Should we, we should conclude this video. We should. So someone. Yeah, we have some mama duty to do. But I'm going to leave Tom's link. For the for her Instagram and her page, her business page. So you guys should definitely support her. And thank you for watching this video. I hope it was fun. I hope you got to know a little bit more about me. That's why I get I do these tag videos. The next one I'm going to have. Hopefully, I'll have all my siblings. Send you questions and questions for like a Q and A. Mm. <laughs> okay, you guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, like. Hit share, I do all those good things and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye. bye.